we're gonna be wrapping up the playthrough that has one year already in like the development. I did uninstall this game, hence you don't see my statistics, equipment. I have nothing, so this is pretty much a fresh save file. We're gonna be finishing with the combat AI update. I don't know if prior to that it got some quest free enhancements. I was looking through the settings because I need to enable and disable certain stuff to make it harder essentially because before it was just laughably easy. Which is why I'm hoping this update will bring out a proper sword fighting experience. There's a graphics tab which I don't know if it was there before and it makes things very clear. Not necessarily with the texture quality because it's basically the same, but at least I don't see a single speck of shitty resolution. However, that might have an impact on the performance because I'm also recording, so we shall see. Right now, let's focus on the AI itself. I think I'll just go into the arena. With like the highest modifiers because that's the best experience to see what's up with this game. I kind of remember how things work, but because this is changing their behavior, like the enemies, I might just learn a new how to maneuver here. <laughs> I'm ready to get my ass kicked. Not with the archers though. Get out from here. So let's see how they behave. I need a couple minutes to analyze. Still some frame drops. I mean, if we were on quest 3, I can just pump out the graphics for sure. I'm looking for the empty spots between the armor. That was the most effective way of fighting people. Normally it would be the knees. He's not doing much honestly. I'm just chickening here. It's the other way around. Is this the hardest difficulty? I literally pumped up in the settings, hardcore, waves difficulty, like everything's possible. And it's still not enough. Pirates are a joke. I like stabbing here. What is going on? I'm first level.
I need your longer sword, mate. Also, was the armor going through the body before? What the hell, there are some flank stuff here. <laughs> No, no, no! <laughs> ah! Then the helmet is fake. Length is king in this game. That's what he said. That's better. I'm getting hit because I'm playing around. I'm trying the game to redeem itself, but I don't see it so far. I think I put 10 waves. You can go with the, your little knife I think they are walking differently honestly like their body movement is not patterny, like it seems unique. But that's not combat AI, that's movement AI. Let me see like a campaign stage cause this is still not it for me. Oh my god. I guess I'm just that good that everything just dies. Well I saw no what to aim though. For them, it's under the chin. What are those sounds? Is someone training the house? And the shield is big. Yeah, nothing's different. <laughs> well, I mean, except the movement, because it's less predictable, but somehow, at the same time, less aggressive? I don't know how that works. If I'm like the master of this game, or really, 
it's not enough in terms of the difficulty and juice. I feel like Blade and Sorcery does a fairly good job in terms of aggressiveness because this is too timid. <laughs> Anyhow, I think that's the end of the actual game in terms of the content because the developers announced the closure of their Discord server. I'm not quite sure if that also means they ceased the updates and anything that's related to this game. I've had my share of gameplay and I feel like it have been done so much better. It had great potential because it's the first physics sword fighting game that is centered around campaign and storyline, but it really just falls flat with the mechanics and I don't know, maybe because I have trained before medieval martial arts, I find this childishly easy, but I can't really help it and I look forward to something more advanced.